What's the crack, lads? Welcome in. It is Thursday. We are here with a Thursday roundup. 777. 777 million downloads campaign. That is the next campaign that Konami have got going on. And it seems to be celebrating all number sevens and players that are fairly high profile, right? We've got De Bruyne, we've got Cristiano, we've got Son, we've got a couple of others here as well to look at. But this campaign is going to have a few bits and pieces and it will probably tide us over until eFootball 2025. None of the players, I would say, are game-breaking or game-changing or anything like that, but we will go in on about that in a little bit, right? There's also a new Showtime skill, as you see here. I've said it for a couple of days now. I said it last week and the week before. I tried to give you guys a little few tips and tricks along the way and a couple of bits of uh, bits of teases, but I, I kind of knew that they were going to be like changing the, the crossing, changing the headers, changing the out-wide play. Bullet header is the new Showtime skill. That is going to be something I'm going to be very intrigued to see, especially with Collar, if you can get a version of Collar with that. I think it should come. Now, this 777 million downloads campaign is going to kick off. There's campaign objectives, there's special login bonuses, there's challenges events, there's special login bonuses, tour events, and teamed events, as well as new packs, new jerseys, new everything. We're going to show you everything, and uh, I'll try and get everything in as best as I possibly can. Now, this is going to run until the 8th of the 8th, so that is obviously until next week um, and next Thursday. And that's going to be a few bits and pieces coming along as well. They also say that for the update plan for Autumn V4.0, the following in-game languages will be no longer available. They're getting rid of the Greek language and text language for Swedish and Dutch users. But everything else, man, is going to be rinse and repeat apart from new stuff added, right? So let's go straight into it, into events and into show you guys what is here. This is all tied in with the team play. Fun, the Unlimited is back, the National Teams is back, and the National Teams against the Dream Team event here is back as well. So there's two of these. One is still ongoing from last Monday, and this one is new, right? All of these are going to have the 777 million download uh, campaign or being worked towards the campaign. Any that have the sticker are going to work towards that, right? So you can see here, there's all of these are teamed towards the new objectives and the new campaign. Uh, the challenge event and tour event and these are going to give you these ones here are going to give you your free encore stars which we knew was going to be coming as well as the re-release eFootball league is still ongoing until next week or so when the new phase comes in right so as usual it's going to be all about this stuff here that you see right we're going to have new missions for the objectives here the match pass is still ongoing that's going to be reset next thursday as well next thursday seems to be like v4.0 is kind of introduction if that makes sense right we also have this 770 million downloads campaign uh objectives here and it's just got a load of stuff here log into the game get objectives awards There's, listen man this is going to be stuff that they just kind of repeat the whole time but you're going to be able to get a lot of cards or a lot of coins here especially with these you'll get 300 coins for completing 18 objectives probably over the next week or so right obviously league and focuses is new as well but there isn't much in that compared to the other one right now i also want to talk about the packs that they're bringing out here there's some new packs here which are 777 packs and this comes with one player here which is robert perez and all of this right so if you are going to spin for this listen i feel like man if you are going to be spinning coins now it's only if you're going to be getting like an absolute like top class player uh, or two this isn't a bad pack honestly it's not a bad pack at all um especially if you're looking for wingers or looking for different types of players um you know you've got perez there you've got kulveski uh you've got rodrigo bremer there's a lot a lot to like in this they're all player of the weeks uh, and perez is obviously that legend that was in the database for a while and now he's let loose 777 coins for this yeah, I mean, listen, it, it, if that interests you, fair enough. We will do a review on those players in a little bit, right? In terms of the rest of the stuff going on here as well, we do have new kits, which we'll get to in a second as well. We do have new kits, but just to give you a little sample of them, um, if you go in now, Manchester United have had theirs added all right, already, but if you go in and uh, choose a kit, let me just check here with the base team. If we wanted to change our team, we're over on our uh, free-to-play account here. But for example, Barcelona have added their new kits as well. They still obviously have the license to Barcelona, to Milan, to Bayern. Um, and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what, what other teams that they actually, I suppose, what other teams they actually bring out. Um, because I do feel like at this stage, they seem to be losing a lot of licenses. But there you can see there, um, the new jerseys, obviously the new home kit there. But anyway, we can talk about that later on in the stream. You know, there's a couple of other kits in there as well. Um, if you guys wanted to check them out. For example, they've added Bayern's second kit as well. You know, you've got your Bayern Munich kicks there. So there's a few more. We'll get to that in the live stream later. But 
it is going to be all about the players again and obviously about the new objectives and stuff like that you have your login bonus stuff here um as normal you've got everything here you've got your free chance deal as well which is going to be ongoing for 34 days what date is 34 days from now that's what I think is our biggest indicator yet of what's to come, right? So, for the players in here, you're going to have the bullet header showtime, which is going to be Ronaldo, Sarlet, and Weghorst. You're going to have the encore stars with 28 players in it. And, of course, you're going to have the Continental Tournament still ongoing with Beckham and still ongoing as well. The rest of these here. So, we do have one free player in here. There's only three players in this, right? So, even though these guys are highlighted in the actual trailer here... They don't have Showtime skills, it's just a free player, man. So once you go in here and you spin, you get your free player for one of these, and that's it. It's either going to be Son, who we get, the Bruyne, or Cristiano Ronaldo. So, yeah, listen, I think with these cards, man, if you're going to be spending a little bit on, um, on cards, you can unlock all of those for free, and you're going to have a fairly good base if you're a newcomer. The rest of the cards here with this bullet header, I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo, it's definitely, I'm definitely going to be interested to see what bullet header actually looks like. Is it going to be animation based like Blitz Curler or is it going to be like Fortress or going to be like one of those that you don't really know what's happening when it's happening? Acrobatic finishing and aerial superiority um, seems to be part and parcel of that. And he also has heading and bullet header and he's got 87 heading, which will rise up to 90 with a manager that's over 88 proficiency. It's a nice solid car, man, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, it's going to be meta, meta, meta. And Sarla and Weghorst will be the same. We'll, we'll focus on them in a little bit. The rest of the Encore stars here. There's 28 players in total. And you're going to have Haaland, Lewandowski, Shuamene, Daku, Saka, Kimmich, uh, Izak. There's some nice players in here. And especially if you missed out on Cole Palmer, if you missed out on him. It, it depends on what you're looking for. As of, For me, this stage... I feel like it's just going to be a wait and see now for eFootball 2025, honestly, in terms of the stars. Even with my, like, you know, main squad, I've pretty much got a who's who, um, and everybody else is there, to be honest with you. So it's kind of a difficult one. There's another two of the kits as well with Declan Rice sporting the new Arsenal home and away. Pretty decent. The away kit looks absolute fire. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. And also, we will talk about what's coming next Monday as well, because Gareth Bale has finally been added to the DB with a proper card and stuff. We'll chat about that later on in the live stream. But essentially, it's going to be, lads, it's going to be pretty much what you already know and love about the game. And if you are kind of a bit fed up at the moment, I don't think we're going to see a massive change until eFootball 2025. In terms of the content, obviously, we have a different showtime out today and stuff like that. But the rest of it is going to be pretty similar, right? And pretty samey, um, if that makes sense. But yeah, it is interesting, man. It's definitely interesting. I definitely think that the game um, will have a lot of content for eFootball 2025. But let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you guys in a little bit in the live stream. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll be live streaming in a couple of hours and we'll go through everything in more detail. The player reset is gone, so we'll look at our team a little bit more. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.